Hey guys, and welcome, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we woke up, got told to put on, take off our pajamas and put on some regular clothes, and now we're here, starting off our adventure. Wait, this isn't right. What am I doing? So you're telling me that I'm not Let's Play Mother 3. What? Oh well. Anyway, we're back, and here we are with Let's Play Fire Emblem. That's correct. Why, why would I ever play Let, Let's Play Mother 3? I mean, come on, everyone does that. Huh. Anyway, we're ready to start off this next episode. After f defeating the bandits, Lynn continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at, the, at a ruined fortress. The Galon bandits are in ra rage after their brethren fell to Lin's swords. They race in pursuit of their companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. This mildewy old for fortress, is this the best we can do? Come well, surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. This'll be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside any anywhere? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lin's side, I'll be fine. Ah, for your protection. Your men-at-arms saint will be right by your, right here by your side, ladies. Saint, <laughs> both of you. And I will, are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, uh, alas. Your pardon, milady. Who's there? I forgive my intrusion. My name is Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Ah, uh, ow. Are you alright? Hmm. Your leg. It's fine, don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here by all by yourself? Looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeliness, but... At best, but... His name is Dorcas. You do know of him. I'm sorry. I don't believe I've seen or heard, or heard of him before. I see. If you meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. Well, I will tell him, please. I promise. Okay. Here they are, we finally tracked down the band that defeated Mingo. So they decided to hole up this... To hole up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark and then... You, you're an idiot. There are only a few of them, and some are women. If we attack them at night, I'll be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. I will not be so wasteful. You're like Kariga. Kariga. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're so smart. We'll avenge Mingle's death, and some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a leader after all. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Spread up and circle the place, you rogues. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. Oh, who's this guy? Hey, you. Your name's Dorcas, right? Hey, Dorcas. You haven't done much since you joined us. If those weapons of yours aren't just for show, today's the day to let us see what you can do. 
I want you to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that, and I'll increase your share of the take. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. Bunch of women, huh? It would break Natalie's sweetheart to see me sink so low. Maybe we can reason with him. Lady Lindis, outside the fortress. Bandits. What do you say? Persistent bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No, Natalie can't move well. Now we put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight here, within these walls. Ace, take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone, fight with caution. So, all we have to do is last for seven turns, and if Natalie is killed, then we automatically lose. The fortress has two entrances. That's where we must meet the enemy. I'll take the eastern door. Ace, you and the others guard the main entrance. Uh, so, we are outnumbered, so we want to let them come to the door, and then we'll take them out from there. And, Lin is going to take this door. So that's Dorcas. Apparently, Dorcas is the husband of Natalie, who's been out here looking for him. So it sounds like Dorcas doesn't really like working for the bandits, so we're going to try and reason with him. Because that would be one last bandit to worry about. And I'm going to put our two knights right there to guard the entrance. And I'll put you two outside then, just so you can attack when they get too close. Dorcas is attacking us, but he missed. Now we're going to try and reason with him, but first, we have to deal with these bandits. So... So far, Kent just leveled up. Uh, so far, there's not a lot that we really need to worry about. I mean, we've got some swordsmen and some archers, but otherwise anyone with axes we can pretty much take down because of um, Zane and Kent, they both have swords. So... But, another thing we do want to keep in mind, they are trying to take down that wall. Soon they will break through, and then we'll have to worry about them. That fighter that just attacked me, doesn't he look somewhat like the picture of Natalie's husband? So, sometimes we can talk to the enemy, but this is a very interesting mechanic. You have to try and talk with them, without them killing you, and without you killing them. So it's much like this. You, tell me, are you Dorcas? How do you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing here, with these robes? I need money. That may be, but joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to get earned enough gold in these parts. I'll do anything, even this. For gold, anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie's... she's here? She was so worried that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well, I understand. I can't do this, but I'm done with these bandits, here and now. Really? Yes. And I would repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. So... Now we have our first axe guy. So what's cool about Dorcas specifically, he's a fighter. He can use all sorts of axes. Um, I believe he does not have an iron axe yet, he only has a hand axe. But that hand axe can attack from afar, like so. He basically chucks it. And then it somehow boomerangs back, even though that defies logic. And now he has an Iron Axe. So, now with that Iron Axe, we can take down people easier. So, it looks like we're surrounded here. We'll have Will get some points. Will is very useful here, as you can tell. 
and Kent and Sane both have very high health and they can take a couple hits. So they are all also useful outside of combat. Or they're also useful to defend, I should say. Otherwise, I don't want to move Florina quite yet because there are still Axemen around. But I think she'll take on that bandit once he breaks through and I'll send one of the horsemen after the archer so he doesn't cause a problem. Anyway, we'll end the turn and see what happens next. Kent finally took a hit, but that doesn't matter. Because, as I said, um, our two horsemen can take as many hits as they want. And Sane finally leveled up. His... Stuff went on. So as you can see, because we are guarding the door, these bandits are forced to fight one of us at a time. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Grr, get more men up here now. So they're calling for reinforcements. That just means that we have to fight even more. But it doesn't matter, because we're not here to take out all the enemies. We're here to defend. And so, defend we shall. Um, I'm a little concerned about, well, not really concerned. Eh, <sighs> okay. I don't have as many options as I've had before with what I could do here. There's not a lot that we can do without breaking... Uh, there's not a lot we can do without breaking the defense line. So we just have to keep those two there despite them being slightly far away. And... I'm going to keep staying there and Florina not going to move out because there's Axemen and she'd get killed by them. So we're basically just sitting here waiting for them to come to us. And I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about the East Door anymore, but ah, uh, yeah, I, I was wrong. <laughs> I had to open my big mouth. Eh, now that I think about it, we can send Florina after him. We don't have to worry about him as much now that I think about it. Anyway, our knights are taking a beating. <laughs> It looks like. So we might want to get them out of there soon. They also finally took down that wall. So instead of sending Florina after this swordsman, because there's a archer there, I'm going to send her after this swordsman. And I'll keep you two down here, so now we have two ranged attackers behind the knights. So that means we can pretty much hit them as much as we want. And we can heal our knights on the turns that they don't attack. Like this turn. This turn there's no one around them to attack them, so we can now heal them. Yeah, wait there. And Kent, you also heal. And wait... Lynn, I think, can take on these guys by herself. Especially when they're forced to come at her all at once. Or, uh, one at a time, not all at once. One enemy at a time. Okay. So these guys aren't as... Florina might have a little trouble taking them out, but I think... What I'll do is... I think what I'll do is I'll take some of my forces protecting the south door and head, send them elsewhere to protect everyone else. Anyway, Kent's now faster, so we can start hitting bandits twice in one turn. Level up. Health went up again, and damage per turn went up again.
Um, Lin... Can't... I don't want to risk anything here. But... It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do this with Lin. Because if I kill this guy, then that bandit's going to attack me. Probably do some damage, and then that archer will finish me off. So I'm going to retreat. I am going to send Will, though. For good reason. Because Will's just awesome. <laughs> I'm confident he can take a shot. Actually, now I'm extremely confident he can take a shot. Because Dorcas is there protecting Will. And you two don't need any more protection as far as I can see. So, we foolishly forgot to equip our Iron Lance here, so... This is gonna take a little bit longer than for we first intended. But anyway... That's done, and you two are still guarding, so... Let's end off this turn, and watch Valerina finally get the kill. So she gets to level up? Well, okay, no, she doesn't get to level up quite yet. She should now, though. Especially since that was a miss, which uh, that was a really nice miss. There's our level up. Level 3. Our speed went up, so that means that we'll have the ability to hit him twice next time, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, that should work, or it should work that way. Just like Kent leveled up and now he's able to hit guys twice. I don't know the speed of anyone else, but I think that's how it will work. Darkus is a fighter. Fighters naturally have higher health than all the other units, so he's the gun gonna be the guy who's gonna be taking the most damage and living from it. Anyway, what's awesome about our hand axe is that if any archer tries to target him, then he can counter the archer with that equipped, but if we equipped his Iron Axe, for example, then we wouldn't get that chance. So we're going to kill this bandit with Will, because Will is awesome, and then we're not going to let this archer have the chance to counter us, and we're just going to Iron Axe him. So we almost leveled up there. Not sure what Lin can do right now. I kind of want Lin to get some experience here. So we're going to use our Marikari and get a critical hit on this guy. I'm pretty sure she can take out the other guy too because she hits 20 damage per turn now. Because it's 10 and 10. And that hit, but he's dead automatically because she's just getting critical hits like crazy. Let's hope this raises our defense a little bit. Nope. Oh well. Wow. We'll just heal and I forgot that uh, Lin doesn't have any more vulnerabilities. Well, crap. Okay, Kent. You just be awesome, Kent. Does Farina have any vulnerabilities? Yes, she does. Okay. I'll send Farina here and then I'll use a vulnerary. Heal her up a bit. And she can protect Lin. Because I don't think Lin can take out that guy. Then we'll send Will and Dorcas back. And end the turn. So two more swordsmen, but thankfully Oh okay. Florinda doesn't get the double kill. Oh well, well not double kill, double hit. Kent's running low on HP. Um, next hit, if it does hit, it's gonna kill him, but I don't think we have to worry about that, and I'm gonna eat my words, but 
Okay. Curses, they're not human. Listen up, rogues. Retreat, pull back. Okay, I didn't eat my words. Thank God. The enemies fled. Ace, we've won. Dorcas. I'm sorry, sir, Natalie. All's well that ends well, right, Natalie? Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm? Why can't we just say our farewells today? Well, I spoke with Ace. I, I've been invited to join your group, but we're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. You help my wife, I owe you. Dorcas. Please, Lynn, we're both in agreement on this. Watch over my husband. Alright. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns. Keep watch. Please rest easy. Is that alright? Are you sure, Sane? Oh, er, yes, of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut down you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What, do you doubt my bravery? I am not a knight. Am I not a knight? There is no need to worry. Right, Kent. Well, if there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, Ace. Let's go. Ha! No one ever trusts me. Well, with that attitude you got going, saying, I don't know. Anyway, in this episode, we pretty much got that done, so next time we'll be continuing our journey to Lycia. See you guys then.